Hello everyone, today we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 4 to the power x minus 7 equals 3 to the power x squared minus 6x minus 7 and we're going to be solving for real x. At this point, go ahead and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, now notice that the exponent for 3 is actually factorable so let's go ahead and factor that x squared minus 6x minus 7 can be factored as x minus 7 times x plus 1. so that means that x equals 7 is a solution of this as well as this one so that's a common solution basically in other words x equals 7 will make both of them equal to 0 so we'll get the equation 4 to the power 0 equals 3 to the power 0 which is equal to 1 so that's true so x equals 7 is one of the solutions are there any other solutions we're gonna find out okay all right so what are we supposed to do here well we do have two bases here that are different and obviously 4 is not a power of 3 so they have no common powers so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the logarithm of both sides but which base do we need to choose well, uh, I was just going to say it doesn't matter, but let's go ahead and go with the smaller one. Okay, so we're going to be taking the logarithm of both sides, base 3. Let's go ahead and do that. Log base 3 of 4 to the power x minus 7 equals log base 3 of 3 to the power x squared minus 6x minus 7. Okay? All right, so now, as you know, the good thing about taking logs of both sides is we, we can get rid of the exponents, right? So this guy over here is going to move to the front, and this guy over here is just going to move to the front. And they're just going to be factors, okay? So from here, we get x minus 7 times log 4 with base 3, and this one is going to be x squared minus 6x minus 7, multiply by log 3 with base 3. Okay, well, we know that this is equal to 1, so this is just going to be 1, okay? So then it's going to equal x squared minus 6x minus 7. Okay, so we have the following equality, x minus 7 times log 4 with base 3 is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7. Awesome. Okay, now at this point, we can just go ahead and divide both sides by x minus 7, but the only problem with that is you can't divide by 0. So at this point, we're just going to assume that x does not equal 7, and then we could just go ahead and proceed with the division, okay? All right, so if, does, if x does not equal 7, I'm able to divide, and that's going to give me log 4 with base 3, is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7 divided by x minus 7. Okay? And as you know, the top is factorable. We talked about this before. So I can go ahead and write it as x minus 7 multiply by x plus 1. And then this one is x minus 7. Now, remember our assumption. Uh, x does not equal 7 at this point. So I'm able to simplify this fraction. Go ahead and cancel them out. And we end up with a simpler equation, log 4 with base 3 is equal to x plus 1. Now remember that we're trying to solve for x here. Therefore, if you just isolate x, you're going to be getting x is equal to log 3, 4, minus 1. And then obviously I can just go ahead and write it down in a different way. If you consider the fact that 1 is equal to log 3 with base 3, and then using the quotient property of logarithms, I can just write this as log of 4 thirds with base 3. So that's going to be one of our solutions. Okay. And then the other solution we found initially, if you remember, we said that if x equals 7, then both sides are going to equal 1. So x equals 7 is another solution. So we basically have two solutions to this equation. One of them is an integer. The other one is an irrational number. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.